We're gonna talk a little bit about vegan revolution and the mass. This is a world. This is a world. This is a world. The older they get, the more stuck in their ways the harder it is to reach them, but we're trying to fucking help you free your mind here. Why are you eating animals? It's making you fucking unhealthy, it's ruining the planet. It makes so much fucking, it's normal to be vegan. Being vegan is normal. Yeah, I'm wearing a mask and there's this, but like, it's fucking normal to be vegan. <laughs> the idea that Vegan Revolution was able to point that out, to show some self-criticism, I thought was a really amazing thing. So, it turned into something else. It turned into maybe a misunderstanding, vegan revolution, feeling like I was being critical. And so he explained, and actually some other people explained that the mask was a way to get the ego out of the way. And come on, come on now. The ego's not out of the way. If the ego, if the ego were out of the way, then we wouldn't even, I wouldn't be on my third vegan revolution video right now. The ego was in the way. In fact, the ego came back strong and hard. He's, you know, sort of tied the idea of wearing a mask to race and sexual identity. Putting on a mask, as far as I know, is a choice. So to compare those two things, it's just, you know, come on, let's be real. Like basically you're saying, if I think your mask is funny, then I should accept that race and being gay is, is funny or weird or crazy. Come on, let's not do that. Let's not be mean and let's not use our privilege over people because you can only say that because you're a white male. Which brings us back to another thing. As much as you might want to mask your identity by putting the bal balaclava over your face, you're not masking the fact that you are a male and you are not masking the fact that you are white. And those things will always give you certain privilege in spaces that people who, especially, a, you know, and I'm guessing straight white male, right? You know, I don't know what your sexual orientation is. That is a very privileged position to be in. So to try to hold that in and say, well, I'm not gonna take you seriously because you don't take me seriously in my mask. Think about that, come on, come on. So I did a little research into what, you know, the meaning behind mask. And mask, like the earliest meanings of that word, like if you look at the, uh, the Latin root, which is masca, it meant specter or nightmare, not neutral at all, right? Coming into the map, you know, that, that ancient significance of that word being nightmare, specter, right? Scary, right? Um, and then there's the Arabic meaning, which I ba basically think becomes from masquerade, which refers to buffoonery, the buffoonery, which is only possible by disguising the face. And I, I know of it from the, the Zapatista movement, but even its origins, the name comes from the Battle of Balaclava. So it has these kind of militaristic, it has these revolutionary origins. So by putting on a balaclava, you, you, unless you don't know the history, and it is possible that vegan revolution just didn't know that the mask carried with it all of this historical significance, especially like in the United States, African-American communities might tie the wearing of a mask to the Ku Klux Klan, right? There's all this stuff that nothing is just anything. Nothing is just anything. So keeping in mind, what is the historical significance of the things that we put on, the messages, the images that we project? And I tend not to think that vegan revolution is ignorant about all those things. I think those things are quite intentional and I think they're clever. I think it's well, I think it's well executed and I don't want to criticize him for that. I don't want to be insulted by having, you know, this really simple one layered excuse thrown at me that the mask is just a way to um, take the ego out of it to take so that people will focus on the message because the mask is part of the message. The mask is part of the message and the fact that the mask is being worn by someone who, you know, I'm perceiving as a straight white European male is also very significant. 
So the way you steward that privilege in the world uh, can make a huge difference. And that's it for this video. Like it if you like it, share, comment, subscribe. This is Reg signing off. Love yourself. Peace. And I love myself. The world is a ghetto, big guns and dickies.